everyone poops. It's something we have a difficult time talking about. In the most famous book on the subject, it says that grown-ups poop and children poop too. And when we're done, we wipe ourselves with paper and flush it down. And for most people, that's where the story ends. But as a chemical engineer specializing in wastewater treatment, that's just where the story begins. You see, after the water exits our homes, it travels into the sewers, where it combines with the water from thousands of other homes and is sent to a centralized treatment facility. Now, these facilities perform several key functions, but the most important of which is the biological treatment. In this process, bacteria are utilized in order to remove waste from the water. Now, that can seem a little counterproductive because you just contaminated your water with bacteria. But it's actually the simplest and most cost-effective way of treating water and is used almost exclusively all around the world. Here's how the conventional system works. The contaminated water enters a tank that houses the bacteria. As the water flows through the tank, the bacteria swim through the stream, collecting and removing waste in order to grow. At the end of the process, the bacteria are settled out and recycled back to the tank, while the water is sent for disinfection before being released into the environment. Now, in order for this process to work, it requires three things. Sewers, pumps, and a large remote treatment facility. But as cities expand and become more densely populated, it becomes increasingly difficult to provide these requirements. So, the circulating fluidized bed bioreactor, the project which I'm a part of, was developed as a way to provide biological treatment in an urbanized atmosphere. Now, outside our application, these reactors, circulating fluidized beds, are most commonly used by the petrochemical industry to take large hydrocarbon chains, like the ones from the oil sands, and convert them into gasoline. With a little modification to this design, we're using these reactors to treat water, and we operate them in very much the same way that conventional systems work, but with a twist. Instead of having the bacteria swimming in our reactor, we provide a very small surface for the bacteria to grow on. In this picture here, shown growing on a lava rock. And then, using pumps, we suspend the bacteria inside our reactor. Now, because the bacteria are growing on these lava rocks, they can get much larger than they could then by swimming. As a result, they have a larger appetite and remove more waste. In fact, the lab and pilot scale studies with our technology has shown that we can significantly reduce the size of the reactor needed to treat the same volume of water. We're now what we're calling the mobile scale, in which we've built these reactors inside the bed of a semi-truck trailer. This means that we're able to transport our biological treatment process to site-specific locations, reducing a need for sewers, pumps, and large remote treatment facility. We feel that overburdened facilities and remote communities could benefit greatly from this technology, and that's the driving force behind our research. So, there it is, an unconventional way to talk about poop. <laughs>